Hi, everyone. This is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to work more with the radial filter and the adjustment brush. But first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com, for all of your photography needs. In the previous video, we learned how to simulate a shallow depth of field using the radial filter. If you didn't see that video, you'll definitely want to check it out. The link is below. But I wanted to take this one step further. I wanted to see if there was a way that I could save some time or automate this or find a better way to apply it to my photographs. And these were the settings we landed on in that previous video, but what I'm going to do is pull down even further on the clarity, the sharpness, the contrast, and maybe just a little bit on the exposure. And then I'm going to click custom and choose save current settings as new preset. And I'm going to name this DOF. This is for shallow depth of field. That'll be enough for me to remember it. I'm going to say create. Now I'm going to close this tool by pressing Shift M on my keyboard. And let's jump to this photograph in order to add that radial filter. So again, let's press Shift M to access that tool. And now we would simply select the DOF from the radial filter presets. And then you could click and drag in order to add this to this image. But I actually don't like it here. So I'm going to press H in order to show those edit pins making sure I have it selected, I'm going to press delete or backspace on my keyboard to remove it. And I think I would like to add this just to the background at the top of the photograph. So what I'm going to do is press M on my keyboard in order to access the graduated filter tool. Now you'll notice I still have the effect of this shallow depth of field preset selected and I'm going to click and drag down in order to add that and we can take a look at the before and after. It made it a little darker than I'd like but remember this is all non-destructive and interactive so I can make that adjustment as needed with the exposure. I could also click and drag down from the bottom and just place this adjustment where I'd like. Because I created this as an adjustment preset it works with the radial filter as well as the graduated filter. And great news, it's also available to the adjustment brush. So let's select this image and press K on our keyboard in order to access the adjustment brush. And you'll notice I still have the depth of field preset selected. And now I can just start to brush this adjustment wherever I would like it in the photo, which is really quite handy. Another thing I like to do with this tool is turn down the flow, maybe to about 50%, so that I could brush and maybe build this up more in certain areas and less in other areas to get the look that I'm going for. Using the adjustment brush with this adjustment preset will give you way more flexibility than using it with the radial filter or the graduated filter. Now please don't be confused. This is an adjustment preset, not a develop module preset. Those are two different things. A develop module preset applies it to the entire image. An adjustment preset is used for these localized tools so you can place it exactly where you'd like it. Let's see what this adjustment looks like off and then on. And it's just a really interesting way to simulate a little more depth in your photograph. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.